Cheese is one of the most beloved and versatile foods in the world, enjoyed in countless forms across different cultures. From the creamy texture of brie to the sharpness of aged cheddar and the pungency of Roquefort, cheese exists in a variety of flavors, textures, and aromas. But have you ever wondered how cheese is actually made? The process of transforming milk into a firm, flavorful wheel of cheese is a fascinating combination of science, art, and tradition. In this video, we will take a deep dive into the cheese-making process, exploring each crucial step and the role that ingredients, time, and craftsmanship play in creating this culinary masterpiece, right here on History of Simple Things. The foundation of all cheese is milk. The type of milk used, whether cow, goat, sheep, or buffalo, greatly impacts the final product's taste, texture, and nutritional properties. Fresh milk contains fats, proteins, water, and natural bacteria that contribute to the complex flavors of cheese. However, to ensure consistency and safety, most commercial cheese production begins with pasteurization, a process that involves heating the milk to a specific temperature to kill harmful bacteria. Some artisanal cheesemakers, however, use raw milk, which retains its natural microbes and can result in more complex flavors, though strict regulations often apply to raw milk cheese production. After pasteurization, the milk is cooled to the ideal temperature for the next stage, inoculation with starter cultures. Starter cultures are beneficial bacteria that kickstart the fermentation process. These bacteria help convert lactose, the natural sugar in milk, into lactic acid, which lowers the milk's pH and begins to change its structure. The choice of starter culture determines the cheese's acidity, texture, and flavor profile. For example, thermophilic bacteria, which thrive at higher temperatures, are used for cheeses like Parmesan and Swiss, while mesophilic bacteria, which prefer cooler conditions, are used for cheeses like cheddar and gouda. Once the bacteria have begun their work, the milk is ready for the addition of rennet, a key ingredient in curd formation. Rennet is an enzyme that causes the milk to coagulate, forming curds and whey. Traditionally, rennet was obtained from the stomach lining of young calves, but today, Vegetarian alternatives derived from fungi or microbial sources are widely available. Once added to the milk, rennet helps proteins in the milk bind together into a gel-like structure. Within minutes to hours, the milk thickens into a custard-like consistency. At this stage, cheesemakers perform a clean break test by inserting a knife into the coagulated milk. If the cut is clean and the curd holds its shape, it's time to proceed to the next step cutting the curds. Cutting the curds is a crucial step in determining the cheese's texture and moisture content. The curds are sliced into smaller pieces using specialized knives or wire cutters, and the size of these cuts affects the final product. Smaller curds release more whey and result in firmer cheeses like Parmesan, while larger curds retain more moisture, producing softer cheeses like brie. Once cut, the curds are gently stirred and sometimes heated to expel even more whey, a process known as cooking the curds. This additional heating further firms up the curds, especially in cheeses that require aging. After the curds reach the desired consistency, the whey is drained off, leaving behind solid curds. Some cheeses, like ricotta, are made by reheating the leftover whey to extract any remaining proteins. But for most cheeses, the drained curds are then shaped and pressed to remove excess moisture and create a uniform texture. The amount of pressure applied varies depending on the type of cheese. Soft cheeses like camembert require minimal pressing, while harder cheeses like cheddar and gouda undergo significant pressure to achieve their dense texture. At this stage, the curds begin to take on the familiar shape of cheese wheels or blocks. Salting is one of the final steps in the initial cheese-making process. 
playing a vital role in both flavor and preservation. Salt can be added directly to the curds, rubbed onto the cheese's surface, or absorbed through a brine bath. Salting helps control moisture, inhibits unwanted bacterial growth, and enhances the cheese's overall taste. Certain cheeses, such as feta, are aged in brine, while others, like Swiss, develop their signature rind through dry salting. Once salted, the cheese is ready for aging, or as cheesemakers call it, affinage. Aging is where the magic happens, as cheese develops its unique character over weeks, months, or even years. During aging, complex chemical reactions break down proteins and fats, creating new flavors and textures. Temperature, humidity, and time all play crucial roles in the aging process. Hard cheeses like Parmesan may be aged for several years to intensify their nutty, crystalline texture, while soft cheeses like Brie mature in just a few weeks to achieve their creamy consistency. Some cheeses, like Roquefort or Gorgonzola, undergo a special aging process that involves introducing mold spores, which create the signature blue veins and bold flavors. The aging environment, whether a temperature-controlled cave or a humid aging cellar, is carefully maintained to ensure the cheese ripens properly. Once the cheese has reached its optimal age, it is ready for consumption. Some cheeses are coated in wax to preserve freshness, while others develop natural rinds that add to their distinct taste. Before reaching consumers, cheeses may be cut into wedges, wrapped in protective packaging, or sold whole. Artisanal cheesemakers often take pride in hand labeling and presenting their cheeses with detailed notes on their flavor profile, ideal pairings, and best serving practices. Whether enjoyed on its own, melted over a dish, or paired with wine and fruit, cheese is a true testament to the blend of science and artistry that goes into its creation. The process of making cheese is a remarkable blend of tradition, science, and craftsmanship. From the moment milk is collected to the final aging process, every step plays a crucial role in determining the flavor, texture, and quality of the cheese. While modern technology has streamlined production, many traditional methods remain unchanged, preserving the rich history of cheesemaking. So the next time you bite into a piece of cheese, remember the incredible journey it has taken, from fresh milk to a carefully crafted delicacy. The centuries-old tradition of cheesemaking continues to thrive, evolving with new techniques while preserving its rich history. Whether mass-produced or lovingly crafted in small batches, Cheese remains one of the most beloved and diverse foods in the world, bringing people together through its endless variety of flavors and textures. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.